Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Lewis. Hi, I'm Leo. And, and this, this is Faye. Faye. Join the Bye family as we up sticks and reroute from the hustle and bustle of the UK to a more simplistic life in Bulgaria. Watch as we learn, grow, fail, succeed, and everything in between. From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. All right, Jordan is currently sanding down some doors. I don't think you're sanding down, you're wire brushing down some doors at the moment. Please. I love them how they are, but I feel like they're just going to look a lot better with a new coat of paint. Yeah, you'd keep Spruce them like them that if you could. Spruce them up a bit. They're in good condition. It's fine. A little crack there, but <laughs> it's fine. That's they're cute. lovely. They are lovely doors, aren't they? Best front door we've ever had. <laughs> Do you know what? It's true. <laughs> so what's the plan with the door? I'm just gonna rough brush them, I think, and then give them a little sand. I don't need them to be too perfect. Do you know what I mean? I'm not wet. I'm not getting them back to full wood. It's just no point. Just leave them a bit rough and ready. What are they gonna look like when they're finished? Magical. <laughs> what colour are you painting them? Surprise. Surprise colour. Ooh. People can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. So we're getting the windows <laughs> done at the house today. Um, our good neighbour, David Mayer, is coming in. And he's going to do it for 50 levs. At a day rate, 50 levs a day. He's working on it today. And we're just replacing the panes um, on the window. So, for example, like this one's got a window pane glass missing. Now... I've given it a go, trying to cut it. I'm not very good at it. Broke glass several occasions, so I'm going to leave it to someone who actually knows what they're doing. And for 50 levels a day, it's absolutely worth getting someone else to do it. He's uh, he's up there now, removing them. This is his son, bringing it down. So it's the last you. <laughs> David Mears up here. They just pop off, actually. I didn't think they did. Is Drasti uh, the YouTube? <laughs> Go in there. Say hello. So the window guy has come over and he's taken all of our windows, as you can see. And one of our windows is broken. I was under the impression that he'd be able to fix it, but he says he's not a wood master or a wood meister. Um, so he can't do the joinery and fix the window. So I thought I'd take the challenge on myself. So far, we're getting there. I'll just show you the window itself. So it's this window here. The bottom ledge is broken. Uh, I'll show you what it should look like. It should look like this. Nice ledge on the bottom, but it doesn't have it. It's missing the whole bottom piece. It's completely rotten. So what I've done, is I've salvaged an old window from a barn and we started cutting some pieces out of it and I think it will be okay. So far, so good. So this is the piece that I've cut out. I've just done these new cuts on the edge there. Um, I need to chisel this out so that it's kind of replicated over this side. And then hopefully with the new cuts that I've done on this, it should slot in and we can screw it on and then go give them the window. Uh, I'll be quite happy if this works out quite nicely because that's a winner. And it means we've got, it's the only window that has any damage that's considerable, apart from all, all the glass that's broken. So hopefully this goes well, hopefully it fits, and we've got a nice window. Okay, so it really isn't perfect. It's good enough for now, I think, for what we need it to do. It will hold and we'll get a window in there. My biggest concern is that I think this window's well past it. It just has too much wood rot. But I've done the best I can with, with what I've got available and it should function okay. But we need to consider 
what we're gonna do with windows like this in the future. I know she wants to keep these frames and I absolutely love them and I want to keep them, but maybe we need to look at finding someone who's got similar windows to what we have um, and on an old building and maybe purchasing them or something like that uh, so that we can replace them. This is the worst one by far. So it might be a matter of just actually making the window myself. Um, We'll seeing if there's a carpenter that will give it a go and won't cost too much but it's a window nonetheless and with winter pending it's probably you know better than nothing so <laughs> it was definitely better than nothing i guess we'll give it to our neighbor to put a piece of a pane of glass in if you like our videos don't forget to like subscribe and leave us a little comment oh so first board is up I've got the second board propped up. There's no screws in that. So just so you guys get an idea, like these T things that I've made, I've made it the same length from the floor to the plasterboard. Um, uh, maybe a touch, touch over so you can get a bit of grip on it. So I wanted to make sure that I definitely wasn't going to be under because otherwise it defeats the object of, of what they're supposed to do. Um, you're able to pin these up against, up against the, uh, the joists, which, is, which works really nicely. So, I mean, I really did contemplate putting a joist in on this join bit here. I'm not going to because it seems to sit quite nicely even when you screw it up. And like I say, everything in here is temporary and it's all coming down probably within the year. So I'm not going to cry about it. It's just to get insulation up there, make it look a little bit nicer. Nothing's getting plastered. It's all temporary. I did just have to stick another batten in here, another joist, so that I could screw the end on and then have enough for another piece to go in. So yeah, I did just have to do that, which was a pain because I had to move the board I'd just screwed on down across, get in there, put the new joist up, which was not ideal. Things are coming together. We are making progress. Um, I'm gonna get the boards on and then chuck some insulation over the top at the end. I'm not gonna do it while I'm going. I don't think it's an easy thing to do to try and just launch it over the top. It's easier to just get up in the attic and then just roll it out in there. But yeah, things seem to be going to plan. Things are moving, which is good. So me, Jordan, Leo, Faye, we're all in the house today. Uh, Leo's watching Faye in a bit in the, in the kids' room. And I'm here doing the second ceiling in the house. We've done the bedroom, and now we're doing the kitchen. I'm nearly done. And then once I've laid these last few pieces, we're going to insulate the top, and then it's just get stuff in here and start loading it up and making it, turning it into a home, a livable space. I have got to replace one floorboard and cement some steps outside. I've got six days until I leave, which isn't a lot. So it's all systems go, we've all got to be in here. It can't just be me, we've all got to be here. So everyone's chipping in, doing their bit, wherever they can do it. At the moment, I'm sick to death of this stuff already. Those of you that do it for a job, I don't envy you. That's for sure. These things have been instrumental. Instrumental. Look at that. Necessary. It's a big bit of wood with a T on it. Big up Scott Roberts. Thank you, dude. This was helpful. It was very much appreciated. So I've got one, two, three, four bits of plasterboard left to go in total. Um, but before that, I'll be heading into the loft and there's some insulation. Let's get to it. Let's keep going. Got a big push, big push. Okay, today. I've got the plasterboard up as far as I can get it to go. Now I'm going to put this insulation in the ceiling and then board it up. I've done with it. Move on to the next thing. Thank God. And those ones in there and stuff. Oh, that's really nice. Get in there and sand. Just giving them a little light sand in to make them look better. Good. I'll do this bit. Oh, Are you eating the floor? Glass. What are you eating? Press the button. What are you eating? Madam. 
Hey everyone, thank you for watching another YouTube episode. Now, if you don't know, or I'm sure you do know by now, that we do actually have a Patreons membership platform as well. On this platform, we provide alternative videos to what you're watching on YouTube. So we have our standard episodes that we bring out every month for you guys on YouTube, but on Patreon, you do get them earlier. But in addition to those videos, we offer a more behind the scene approach to what we're doing around here, sneak peeks at certain things. We also like to try and get a little bit more interactive with everyone and involve them in our What Would You Do videos. The people that are on our Patreon page will get a shout out in the video. And every month we will thank our Patreons by doing exactly what we're doing right now. I wanna bring these guys up. I wanna say thank you to you all for being a part of our journey. Thank you for supporting us. We hope you're enjoying everything we're bringing out for you guys. If you wanna join our Patreon, just click the link that's in our description below. This will take you straight over to the membership website. You can enjoy all the access to these behind the scene videos. Okay, people, listen, the camera quality is rubbish. I'm in the loft. It's the middle of the day. It's hot. I've got a lay installation. I wish I could show you guys how to do it. I wish I could show you what's going on. <coughs> but it's too hot to mess about. There's no light. I need a torch. It's hot. And it's hot dusty and i just want to get it done so sorry you're not going to see this bit but just know i'm laying insulation in the loft okay that's one room done one room insulated that's our bedroom i've hated every second of it it's been awful i'm too big i'm too big it's, it's too hot can't breathe not fun ah, it's got sweat in my eyes ah it stings no envy for you guys that do that for a job. Like, that's hard work, well, especially when it's hot. You've got to do that in the middle of summer, laying insulation. What an evil thing to have to do. That ain't fair on any human being. That's toasty up there. I've still got the big kitchen to do, and I'm going to do... I don't... I, the kids' room's the least important, just because it's still got a thick, solid ceiling. Um, with straw and mud and, and it insulates so well even now it's the coolest room in the house it's the best room in the house because it just insulates so well this room will be the next priority which is the kitchen so we'll get some insulation in here and then whatever's left from the rolls will go over the the bathroom slash hallway and then the final remainder will will end up over over the kids room it sounds bad doesn't it really that um, that the, the kids room is the least priority but it's just because of the <laughs> it's not because I hate the kids. No way, they're a pain in the bum. This is it, guys. The final piece of the puzzle. Both rooms, both boarded. I'm hoping this goes well. Knowing, <laughs> knowing my luck, everything's gone and this won't be sliding. And uh, I'll have to fettle it down so that it goes in. I'm hoping I'll cut it right first time. Oh, well. <laughs> Okay, okay. That was not staged. Okay, it flips. The floor really drops down here quite a lot. Oh. These are only so effective. Alright, fixed. Now we've got to do screw it in. That's ceiling done. And let's get on with the next thing, which is cement the stairs outside. Let's get this screwed in. All done. <laughs> Woo. Hey everyone, uh, today is step day. Step day, what do I mean by step day? Outside step day. Already cleared the porch with Jordan and we've cleaned the stairs up. We've got it all nice and clear and now we're just starting to board up. See here. Put the board down the side. I'm going to run some boards across, across the steps as well to create a frame. And it's just a step repair, so hopefully it goes well. Um, but like I said, we've uh, cleaned the porch, emptied that, exposed this brick wall here, which I love, the stone wall. And we're going to crack on and hopefully get this frame built. Clock's ticking. Let's go. So far, here's the frames. So I'm going to do every other step. We'll be ready for some concrete in a minute. Won't be too long, it's super, super windy here today. Uh, 
Whenever I do stuff like this, well, especially stuff like this, like today, stuff like this I probably would have called my granddad and asked him how, uh, how to do it. So my granddad passed away this year and uh, I think when I do this, oh, When I, when I do all this stuff to the house, you know, stuff that I've never done before, whenever I would do anything, when it would come to like construction, because obviously it's not my trade, I would always ring my mum and then get my mum to ring my granddad. Then my granddad would give me a ring or I'd give my granddad a ring and then uh, I need to, this is what you want to do. This is how you should do it. And uh, I thought about it today when I was doing, and I was thinking about how I'm going to do it. And I thought, I'd just, you know, you think you could just give him a ring. Like, it was in my head, like, to just do it. But obviously it's, it wasn't, it's not, it's not possible, so. So that, that, yeah. That was tough. Um, but. <clears throat> I think you'd be proud of me with what I've achieved so far with this house because I've done a lot and I know my granddad used to take the time to do it almost anything he could do anything he could do to his house he would do himself and uh, that's what I'm doing so I'm sure he'd be proud so the things that you will need for the steps are trowel nice big level it's about 1200 long trowel uh, what? is this called a trowel? it's not called a trowel is it? No, it's still a trowel. It is a trowel. I think they're both trowels, but they're different trowels. <laughs> Bricklayers go mad at me. Um, and plasterers. Uh, but yeah, um, trowel, trowel. Square. A drill. I've got some 45mm screws, and I've also, for drilling into the wall, I've needed to use brackets, um, but some 100 mils as well. That's what I've had to use. It doesn't mean that you'll have to use them. It's just because of the shape of my stairs. And because they're going up against a brick wall, I've used some white brackets, which I don't actually have with me, but you, you would have seen them in the video. They're up against the wall, and it's just a 90 degree bracket to uh, fix the wood to the wall. Um, and that's kind of all I've really used. I have used my impact driver uh, on a few occasions um, for the for the wall. How you want to do it is entirely up to you. Yeah. Hello to all of our followers. I wanted to take this opportunity to just let you all know about the super thanks button that we have below the video. This is a new feature for our YouTube channel. It's going to allow all of our followers here on YouTube to donate small amounts of money towards our channel and our project that we're building here. Any money that gets donated to our channel will be used for things like recording equipment. Right now, every YouTube episode that you've seen, we have used our phones and tripods, some of which have broke multiple times. I have destroyed my phones, broken screens, just in the hopes that I would capture some good content for you guys and it's time that we do move away from this and we start using really good equipment if we are to continue growing and developing these episodes not only will anything you donate go towards the episode it will go towards renovating the land on this property the house the outbuildings things for the children and we will absolutely make sure that everybody knows that you donated towards our channel by doing a specific shout out to those of you that have donated via super thanks and we can't speak highly enough of the people that support us and we hope that we can keep bringing you incredible content that you guys enjoy and hopefully with some improved equipment over time thank you and on the final step we're all gonna put a little handprint in on the family and uh yeah and that'll be something to remember because this is kind of the final piece of the puzzle for us to be to be able to go into the house and yeah it's, it's gonna be a good feeling good feeling i'll be ready right so i think we should do mama first so mama first. What hand do you want to do your that hand? And I'll do my hand. right, you do your left. Okay. So I'll do mine here. Yeah. Then I'll put yeah. my, my I feel like you hand. should go there, because you're bigger. It's gonna be fun getting her one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we said the same thing. All right, Daddy first. Aww. One. She's gonna grab it. I know it. Right, distract her someone. With what? A song. Sing. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle little, little star. star. How, how I want. Get it out. Oh. oh, she had to ruin it. What are you doing? Of course you did, babe. Let me. Um, I'll trowel it. I'll trowel it out. I'll trowel it out. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we think this would be a good idea? I told you the baby wouldn't be a good idea. That space. <laughs> Ooh, What's Daddy got? What are you doing? No. You're ruining everything I've done. <laughs> it was a Mr. Baby. Genius. That'll do. That'll, that'll do. do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yes. Right. Who's next? Yours is there. Press hard, Leah. There we Too go. Hard. Keep it flat. Even. 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 Nice. And out. Hang on. And the front. Oh yes. That's a good well print. Well done. Press harder. 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 Good. Now out. All right. Can we write the date? What date? What's the date? I don't know. What's the date? Second? Third? Come on, you messy queen. Oh, oh why are you eating cement? Ah! Oh. Go. That's, oh. It's toxic. Oh, hey, no. Why? The joys of babies. We're doing our first room. Well, <laughs> well properly, properly furnishing our first room. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is going to be what? Well, it'll be Faye's nap room and it'll be Leah's room. It's not Faye's room, really. It's but just the, the room for the, for the children. Somewhere to get them out of our room. We found a bundle of these rugs. We've got an abundance of them. So I thought it would do for flooring right now. I don't think it's a bad idea. Better than no floor, I feel. That's what I feel you have to ask yourself here. Is it better than nothing? So is this bed not ideal, but is it better than no bed? Yes. Yeah, I wasn't for the bed at the start, but I now I'm looking... this bed. Well, I think about dead people. And then... No, you can't say that. You're saying that because you live in a house. You're not saying it because... You've had dead people stuff. Well, I buy everything secondhand. So, dead people, at least you know these dead people. You live in their house. <laughs> Long with one. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> so what's the plan? We're Operation Move In, yeah? We are. Um, we're starting on the kids' room. I don't know what room we'll move to next. I'll move to wherever Jordan needs me to move to, but... Are you sure I can't? You can't staple into concrete, well, I'm sure. Can my staple gun? Give it a go, but I don't think it'll work. I think you're going to look at it and go, ah, that was pointless. No, I'm going yeah. to let it go. Don't underestimate the staple bit. All right, well, it might work, but, you know. Oh, right. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Oh. We have many more rooms to go. This is the first one that's going to be finished, and then we're going to go, oh, I'd like to get the kitchen done next. Yeah, me too. We've, done, we've kind of done the bedroom, if I'm honest. I want to mop the... We've been waiting for a bed to be delivered. I want to mop the floor in there, and that's going to make it look so good. We're moving in! Shut the door to our new kitchen. Shut the door then. Good girl. Is that it? Yeah, well done. Oh dear. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think it'll keep coming up streaky for a while. I'm happy with it. This is moving ready, baby. Kitchen. <laughs> Peel it. Oh, baby. Oh, it'll do, it'll do, it'll do! Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of your carpet? I love it. <laughs> That's just nice to have carpet, huh? Yes, yeah, not whole floor. <laughs> <laughs> A whole room to yourself. Yes. Not just... Wait, when are we moving in? Tonight. What? We're going to try. We're going to try. try and do tonight. <laughs> Team Vi! Woo! So this is our last night at the caravan. It's done us well. Done us well, but it's time 
to say goodbye. We're going to spend our first night in our in our actual house, and it's going to be oh, it's going to be weird. These are my possessions that I'm taking currently. It's a salt lamp, a charger, and a TV remote. We basically just made two rooms functional, which is our bedroom, kids' bedroom, and uh, yeah, it's time to uh, embark on a new adventure. It's time to embark on a new adventure. Oh, I'm excited. Let's go. Next time on From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. Jordan's got me doing other things yet again, sidetracked. I was there trying to make the bathroom happen. Here I am, fiddling with the wardrobe. Did he just move this thing down? This is the life you wanted. Puppy pup duty. Talking about this type of stuff on camera to people, difficult because I never want to come across as if I know what I'm doing. How are we doing? Good. This life is great, you know. I'm so for it. We are approaching winter and it's getting important for us to make sure that we're prepping wood and, and stuff for the winter. So, today, wood day. Got some more wood to cut. <laughs>